No, we need to start preparing Emmett for when the baby comes. Is that a thing? Yes, it's a thing. Cats can be very sensitive. They can smother a baby or steal its breath. Okay, you have got to stop listening to Aunt Jude. Well, either way, the ASPCA has some recommendations that we can do to help prepare Emmett for when the baby comes. The ASPCA has actual recommendations? Yes. These are not just things that you were making up? No, these are actual recommendations from the ASPCA. All right. Great. This is going to be fun. I don't think this is going to be fun. Start to gradually shift your cat's schedule so that he's already used to it when the baby comes. Okay, I'm going to wake up. There's a crying baby. Wake up. Okay. See you in two hours. Resist the temptation to give your cat extra attention in the weeks before the baby's due date. This will only set him up for a bigger letdown when the baby comes. Wait, what are you doing? I'm just gonna give him one little pet. No, you can't do that. What? He's presenting his belly. He never does that. That's his plan. Balance a few empty soda cans filled with pennies on the rim of the crib. If your cat tries to jump in, the noisy result will discourage future visits. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's okay. I can get it. I, can... I, I got it. Place new baby items several feet from your cat's food bowl and leave them there for a few days. Ew! Not the breast pump. The baby's milk goes in here. It's for Emmett to get used to. When is Emmett ever going to use the breast pump? I don't know. Don't put my breast pump or anything that goes near the baby's mouth or my boobs between the cat food and the trash can. Just new rule. You can also start to use a little bit of your baby's lotions, shampoos, and creams on yourself so your cat associates them with a familiar person. Uh, you know that's diaper cream, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, then. Buy a CD of baby sounds and play it during your cat's meals. Well, this is just kind of creepy. Oh my god, thank you. Oh. Start getting your cat used to the baby's prodding fingers now by playing Poke the Kitty. Poke. Poke, 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 poke. Ow. Mm -hmm. See, that's what you got. Aw, oh, come on. I was just kidding. To help your cat get used to childlike movements, spend some time each day crawling around and lying on the floor, running through the house, and playing with baby toys. Okay, I think this is a bit much. <laughs> Babe? Hmm. What if Emmett doesn't like the baby? Worse, what if the baby doesn't like Emmett? Are you being serious? We've had Emmett since college. He's been through a lot with us. And if he doesn't like the baby, then we'll have to choose between them. And obviously we would choose the baby. We'd choose the babies. Look, I know you love Emmett. I love him too. But... We've followed all of the ASPCA's recommendations. The actual recommendations from the ASPCA. I know, the actual recommendations. So I don't see any other outcome than Emma and the baby are going to get along just fine. Get some sleep. That diaper cream made my face tingle. I'm sorry. kind of like it.